What's up everybody? The draft lottery was a couple days ago and it did not come out as I wanted it to or expected it to. The day it, it came out, I was too disappointed to talk about it, but now I want to talk about it a bit more. I want to talk about what the Suns could do, who they could draft. Now, this is where it gets tricky because the uh, Sacramento Kings won the third pick, right? And it was given to the 76ers, so they have the third pick. And a lot of matters with the Suns pick by who the 76ers pick. Because the 76ers, they got a boatload of players they could choose from. Darren Fox, Malik Monk, Josh Jackson, Jason Tatum. A lot of mock drafts right now, I saw have them um, taking Malik Monk or Darren Fox. I don't see them taking the small forward since they already have Ben Simmons and don't need him. A lot of what comes down is to what they see fits them best. But what happens, whoever they pick will affect the Suns tremendously. Because then they'll leave us with the player we need to pick. The Suns are obviously rooting that Josh Jackson does not get taken before they do. The Suns uh, general manager Ryan McDonough has already said that the team needs better defense and a wing defender. Josh Jackson is the best two-way player in this draft, an incredible defender. The thing is that uh, we also will have choices. Let's say um, the 76ers pick Malik Monk, right, because they, they wanted a shooting guard. We have the option of Darren Fox, Josh Jackson, and Jason Tatum. Obviously, Josh Jackson is better than Darren Fox. And Ryan McDonough, he says he wouldn't mind drafting a point guard if he's the next available player. But Josh Jackson is much better than De'Aaron Fox. And then the thing is, uh, we need a small forward. So that's either D uh, Josh Jackson or Jason Tatum. Why I wouldn't choose Jason Tatum? He's a weak defender. And Ryan McDonough has just said we need a good defender to protect the wing. That's not Jason Tatum at all. He's one-dimensional. He can't shoot threes. His main range shots is pretty good. He gets a few rebounds. But when I see him play, he's nowhere near the potential as Josh Jackson. I'll tell you, Jason Tatum is the MNBA ready right now. He can help a team right now better than Josh Jackson would, right? But Jason Tatum will not help much else in the future. He will stay at the level he is at. Ryan McDonough wants, he wants a defender, right? And uh, Josh Jackson is a better defender than Jason Tatum, better rebound than Jason Tatum, a better passer than Jason Tatum. So it makes no sense to get Jason Tatum over Josh Jackson if we have those two in line. It's a clear choice between them two. Josh Jackson all the way, right? The thing is, if the 76ers pick Josh Jackson, we leave with either Malik Monk, De'Aaron Fox, and Jason Tatum. There's no way we're picking Malik Monk. We have Devin Booker. So no point, right? The thing is, Ryan has already said that Bledsoe will be coming back next year. And it's very unlikely that they trade him. So why would we pick another point guard? I'm pretty sure if we only left Jason Tatum and De'Aaron Fox, they're gonna pick Jason Tatum, which I don't want. I'm not a big fan of Jason Tatum. I'd rather still trade Bledsoe and get De'Aaron Fox. And maybe trade Bledsoe for a small forward that would help right away. We really need the Philadelphia 76 to, to pick a guard. We need Josh Jackson. The thing with Josh, um, his attitude and character, I don't know very well. I've heard stories that he could be a bit reckless, which is was not good to have as an organization. But his upside is way too good to pass over. He has all the potential to be a great uh, player. His shooting isn't great, but he could develop it to where the point where it's decent enough. He made shots in college, so if he develops it enough where it's a threat, he will be an incredible asset to the Phoenix Suns, an incredible player, and that's who the Suns should pick. Let's hope that the 76ers pick a guard, and let's hope Josh Jackson ends us in number four. I'm not as mad as I, I was uh, the other day, because this draft is so stacked that four wasn't really an issue. I, I would have preferred picking first or second. Uh, if we do end up with Josh Jackson, it would be incredible. A lot of people um, like De'Aaron Fox. I love De'Aaron Fox. He's one of my favorite players. He outplayed Lonzo Ball, as you, a lot of people know. But uh, since we have 
since Ryan had already, has already said that Bledsoe is likely to stay, we would have four point guards if we got him. Bledsoe, Knight. We need to trade Knight right away, though. He can't be on the team anymore. Uh, Tyler Lewis and Darren Fox. If we're willing to move Bledsoe and Knight, then we, it would be okay to bring Darren Fox and bring in a small forward from the trade. As I see it right now, we're either going to pick... Uh, Josh Jackson or Jason Tatum. Clear choice, Josh Jackson, to me at least. We still have to wait and see to what happens in the draft. Thanks for watching. Make sure and subscribe. <laughs> see you next time.